Hello and welcome to the April 24th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Jim Glossing this weekend detected an uptick in port 81 traffic in our firewall logs. Well, uh, I set up a honeypot and the only thing I get, but I get a steady stream of that, is invalid HTTP requests. They all start with get, then a new line, then login.cgi. All the servers that I have tried so far will respond with an error message, even things like mini HTTP, which typically is fairly resilient and accepting some invalid HTTP requests. Best I can tell so far, it's probably a fingerprint attempt, but if you are seeing this data leave your network, I would appreciate a note to see where it's originating from. And Didier looked at a Word document that exploited the recent CVE 2017-199 exploit. This is this famous HTA exploit that was already exploited before a patch was released, of course, uh, the last couple of weeks. It has really taken off and uh, sort of hit the mainstream because it's a relatively easy exploit to execute. Well, uh, Didier will show you how to analyze uh, these documents. It was about a week ago that we learned about Eternal Blue and Double Pulsar, the NSA exploit and the back door that goes with it. Now, at the same time, there was also a detection script that was released for Double Pulsar because hosts infected with that back door will respond slightly different for SMB pinks. Well, uh, there have been now a couple of surveys off the internet to see how many systems are infected with double pulsar. Turns out the number was surprisingly large. Tens of thousands of systems, the exact numbers vary from survey to survey. But of course, uh, there is no telling when they got infected. These surveys that were done late last week, so the bad guys had about a week to infect systems with uh, these exploits. So not all of these systems were necessarily infected by the NSA originally. And apparently NVIDIA with some of its latest Windows drivers did also install Node.js, at least according to Rene Frankruber from SecConsult. He saw this happen on some systems and of course this can then be used to bypass some of the whitelisting that is often used to prevent exploitation of these systems. With Node.js installed an attacker can start Node.js and then essentially just uh, run code within Node.js and expand the functionality of Node.js to the attacker's liking. Node.js can pretty much execute arbitrary commands on the system so the attacker isn't really limited uh, by what they can and cannot do with other tools like PowerShell and the like that may also be installed on the system. Now from the article, it's not really clear what Node.js is used for by these drivers, but the author does recommend that you disable Node.js or at least remove it from your whitelist so you will be alerted whenever the file runs. Google Android users, of course, have complained for a while now that it can be difficult to receive timely updates for their phones. Well, apparently there was an application in the Google Play Store that offered to help just with that. However, it turns out that this application may not have given you better updates for Android. Instead, it infected your systems with spyware. To make it worse, uh, this application was originally uploaded into the Google Play Store in 2014 and just now Ckaler found out that uh, this particular application was malicious. Once installed, the spyware will report on the user's location. It's also able uh, to send SMS messages and interact uh, with an attacker via SMS. 
In some ways, they didn't actually lie in their product description. It calls itself system update, but the one line product description in the Google Play Store said that this application updates and enables special location features, which I guess is what the application did and why it may have evaded some of Google's automatic checking features. Well, uh, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.